So Shad Sian introduced CLI 3.0, which opens a lot of doors for all the people who are building component libraries around the world. I want to discuss what all changes are there, uh, what are the improvements, and what is it that we can benefit as a user. So let's dive straight into the code. Uh, this is the landing page that you have. For example, now if you go to any component, for example, this component, MacBook Scroll, you see the earlier workflow was simple enough but not that great like you had to copy the example and then you had to go to manual and then you had to copy this install a bunch of dependencies and stuff now you can just do it with the cli pasting this command now this works but there are better way of doing it since the initialization of uh, shad c and registries now this is also a registry wherein you fetch a url from a registry now what exactly is a registry let's talk about that first if you go to this link macbook scroll.json so this is basically a json file which contains the details of this component the dependencies which are required to install and if you go to something like slash registry.json you'll see all the components which are there on Eternity. this is what is essentially called a registry now what you can do with code here is and with the latest cli 3.0 update is i'll walk you through the code so this is the code editor that i have i'll just quickly initialize uh, shad cn this is default once you have this you have a file called components.json now this component.json is responsible for containing all your registries for example if you're using cult ui kibo ui magic ui certainty ui everything you can keep here because all of these are open source registries which are available right now what you can do here is you can go here and basically do this and this you can name it anything this doesn't have to be just Eternity. you can call it anything that you'd like and the registry and the link to the registry is i'll just quickly go to the docs and see this one and it has to follow the same craft now i'll tell you the benefits of it once you have this now if you go to npx and this is the new command that we have by shad cn shad cn list at Eternity. So you'll get a list of all the components which are there on Eternity. And now if you want to, for example, install any specific component from Eternity, for example, I want to install this background ripple effect. So what I can do here is I can just do npx shad cn add and exactly that at Eternity slash background ripple effect. And what it'll do is it'll go ahead and install that component for you. And you see this background ripple effect gets added here. You can go ahead and add CN. I think you can, there is a separate utility that you can add for CN. I'll just quickly go ahead and create a CN file. Lib utils. Where is it? Uh, lib utils. Cool. So now you have this background ripple effect. Now, if you want to use it, you can go ahead and use it. But essentially, you got the component right here without even visiting this website at all, which is good. CLI is good for that. Now, this you had to add additionally because again this is a step if you're using your own registry this is a step that you have to take but if you go to shard cncli official documentation you see the list of available registries which are over there now if you have this or for example eternity is already added i was a part of their earlier preview all of these other i mean most of these others are community driven so you can go ahead and raise a pull request onto the shard cns repository and in ladio if you follow the shard cns cli documentation and you follow the registry schema he's going to add it and then you can have something of your own and you won't have to do this part of it so if i even if i remove this and go ahead and npx shard cn at latest list at eternity it will be found because it already exists into shard cns internal registry available list of registries now for you to add your registry if you're making a component library this is a place where you ask your users to add your registries but till then we have got this list of community registries which are open source cool now what's the benefit of this there are a lot of benefits for example if you're using cloud code or something like cursor mcp if you don't know what an mcp server is it is basically a way for you as a user to get a lot of components out from the open from for example eternity and you can create a landing page or you know mix and match things based on that server so that server contains essentially the information about all the components or all the data which is available onto the website so these websites themselves release their mcp servers or details but shad cn did it for us with their mcp server but before that but before that 
we should also talk about private registries. Now, private registries, for example, you already know I have a product called Eternity Pro. These are all components blocks. For example, if you pay for it, then only you will be able to access this code, which part of it is here. This is only available if you pay for it. Now, if you want to use CLI for this, there is a way for doing it. For example, copy paste this essentially the same as the earlier version of it. Example, I'll call it Pro Asset, and then I'll have to have a token. Now this token has to be generated uh, by the user from the application and the application has to expose it. So I'll quickly go to my admin. I'll go to API keys already generated one. So I'll create a new API key and I'll call it uh, Eternity key. I'll go to dot env. I'll call it Eternity key and I'll simply paste the new key. Once I have this and I go to the terminal and remember I'm calling it what pro a set. So now what if I do npx shad cn at latest list pro a set. It will list all the pro components from Eternity Pro. For example, registry registry, it has to be pro dot Eternity dot com slash registry slash name. I forgot. So npx shad cn latest init pro a set and you'll see all the components which are available on Eternity Pro all the component blocks which are available. Now, for example, if I want to install this one, this is the command that I have to use npx shad cn add and this will add the protected component, which is protected, which is logged behind a pricing wall. For that, you need API keys and that is how you do it. For example, I'm not sure if your favorite component libraries have it, but Eternity Pro, we have this distribution because of Shard CN's latest update. Thank you so much for that. And now you can pass in the API keys that you have generated from here and then again use it. And then you'll have this blur text fade effect from motion. Now, this is why is it we have this text animation and you go ahead and use this text animation. Let's see. Uh, I'll just go it here. Uh, text animation blur fade in demo npm run dev and let's see what we get and we get this text animation right out of the box didn't even have to go on to this pro platform and this animation is here i can just go ahead and edit it like something is here you know just works out of the box so that's the beauty of shatsy and cli again with the protected routes as well so this is a protected registry private registries so to speak private registry wherein you can call in private components and templates later on and also you've got this public registries as well and you can call it anything you just don't have to call it a study you call it my fav lib or you can call it a component or ui library and you're getting this component from somewhere for example here this can be one and the other can be Similarly, auth blocks and you're getting your authentication blocks from somewhere else. So that is the whole purpose of registries ecosystem, which is crazy good. Now, this is not the only thing that you can do. You can also use your AI with it. And that is the whole purpose of me explaining all this so that I can explain what MCP server does for it. What I'll do is I'll quickly install, which is the another update from Shard C and by the way, is the MCP server. Now what you can do is, uh, if you're familiar with cursor, which is by the way, this that you see, I use cloud code more. So I'll explain that nothing fancy just to initialize a MCP server of shard CN, you just have to write NPX shard CN MCP in it client cloud. Now this is not important. It will ask you in the next step, but it does it for you. What it does is it installs a MCP.json file, which will have the shard CN MCP server installed by default. And now what you can do here is you can just go to cloud and tell it to list all the components in the Eternity Pro Asset Registry or Eternity Pro Registry, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling it Pro Asset because it's easier for me to just. And now you'll see all the methods. Okay, uh, it is trying to use the Shad CN Get Project Registries. This is an MCP. One command to install an MCP server, and it'll ask me if I want to use this command to fetch all the components from the Pro Registry, and I want to do yes, and I do not want it to ask me again and again for this specific. Uh, registry that I'm using, which is pro eternity. So let's see how it goes. Okay, list items. Again, that is another function that shad CN has built for us to use, which is going to list all the registries first is fetching other is listing, we don't have to do anything, we just have to sit and see what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to come up with a landing page with all the pro components that I have let the MCP server and Claude let Claude figure out through the MCP server, what all are the components, you see all the components that are required for a landing page that will make a good landing page create a simple and minimal landing page using the pro asset registry. Uh, okay, let's see how it goes. And this is cloud code, by the way, which is integrated terminal uh, to actually enhance or use AI 
into the terminal i find it very fascinating i find it easier to use better than chat and agentic framework i, I really like cloud code man totally dependent on the person like it is not important for you to use any ai at all but i feel this is nice see what it did a simple hero section it will take a hero section a, min a minimal feature section it will take a feature section a simple footer section centered with logo cool again it is going to ask me if i want to add this command or not let's see let's see how it goes essentially what we are trying to do we are trying to create a landing page with all the h20 components available now within the prompt i said uh, give me a landing page it has to be simple and minimal it is the responsibility of claude to fetch all the components see which one fits and then create a landing page out of it because i've got a lot of components right uh, it is essential to you know take in all the components and create a simple landing page out of nothing and i'm going to allow edits also yes so let's see how it goes pretty fun times we live in all right just the page is fully functional let's see let's go to page.dsx and let's see what we have we have centered image feature section demo one centered with logo it is like really minimal i should have told it to create a huge as landing page instead i'll just create one more node and do npm run dev <sighs> let's see what okay this i need to fix it myself i think uh host name assets.h20.com i need to add a next config thodi cheez to karni padti hai bhai next.config uh images uh remote patterns and it has to be cool let's see now cool now you have this this hero section is a component from eternity this feature is a component now this footer is also a component i want to instruct cloud code to add one uh, bento grid component from pro asset registry let's see if it can find a bento component finding a bento grid component from pro eternity registry is the work of mcp server because it tells you which components are there and then cloud goes and finds some of the bento grids based on the logic that they have in place cool searching for bento grids nice adding bento grid super nice because we have got 3 to 4 bento grid components we are going to create more so subscribe now for eternity pro if you haven't but yeah all right i think it did add it feature three column bento cool we have got a three column bento grid didn't add it here okay it added it do we see it do we see it oh we see it so see it was so fast to add this fucking beautifully animated bento grid because this is a pro component at eternity.com so if you go to pro.eternity.com go to component blocks go to bento grids you see this is a bento grid and we have got more bento grids but this is one of the bento grid which is there now if i click here do all sorts of stuff it just reacts to it which is super nice this is a bento grid and it was so easy to add with the chat cn cli or the mcp server and cloud which is super fascinating super easy to create landing pages i'll also ask Ask it to add a navbar to from pro asset registry. Let's see if it can add a navbar. So easy to spin up a landing page. Super nice. Okay, now it is searching for navbar components. It is going to add a navbar component because now I've given all the permissions. It is not going to ask me, and it's just going to add it for me. Super nice. Well, the only thing I want to change in this component probably would be to have a bit more tracking so that it's tightly knit. Internal server error. Okay, might be doing something. Testing, verifying navbar. Okay, do it. Cool. Let's see. Repress. And now we have a navbar. Okay, your content here doesn't need to be here. So I'll just go to navbar and your content here shouldn't be here and it should be just this. So you've got this navbar and you've got this landing page and you've got this bento grid and you've got this feature section and I think we are missing one CTA. So what I can do is I can just go here add an appropriate CTA from pro asset registry. Let's see how it goes. This MCP server is crazy in this registry ecosystem. So this ecosystem I'll tell you in brief this is a way to distribute components and it is so easy for anyone to just expose this registries file you can go ahead and read the chat cn cli documentation to distribute your components and it is so easy to consume as well because you just have to add one line and that too chat cn is eliminating it because it's maintaining his own community of registries and you don't have to add this step as well so that is pretty crazy and it just works just works so so great to see this working on eastern day because this is something which is okay it added the cta component that is nice wow i'll just tweet it up all right you have this super 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 cool again just the mcp server just the pro registry components now if i want to add eternity components i'll tell you how to uh, can you list all the eternity components from the registry from the chat cn all right let's see what i want to do is i want to have that background ripple effect so that it goes behind 
देखते हैं ओके वेरियस साइड बार इंटरनल काम थीम स्टोन थीम जिंग दिस इज दार्ट्स इन रजिस्ट्री राइट नॉट दी एस्टर्निटी आई जस्ट क्विकली वॉट आल डू इज आल एड दी एस्टर्निटी रजिस्ट्री ऑल्सो एस टी टी एंड बी एस टी पी एस यू आई डॉट रजिस्ट्री नॉट लिस्ट नाउ लिस्ट ऑल द कॉम्पोनेंट्स फ्रॉम एस्टर्निटी रजिस्ट्री वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू हेयर इज आई एम ट्राइंग टू गेट अनदर यू आई लाइब्रेरी विच इज सरप्राइजिंगली माइन ओनली एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू गेट सम बैकग्राउंड कॉम्पोनेंट्स फ्रॉम दैट ओके इट इज शोइंग एटी नाइन एन आइटम्स ओके दैट इज गुड ओके कूल कैन यू एड बैकग्राउंड रिपल इफेक्ट फ्रॉम ईस्टर्निटी रजिस्ट्री इन टू द हीरो सेक्शन ऑफ माई एप्लीकेशन लेट्स इफ दिस वर्कस बेसिकली वट एम ट्राइंग टू डू एयर इज ट्राइंग टू गेट अनदर कॉम्पोनेंट फ्रॉम अनदर लाइब्रेरी इन टू माई लैंडिंग पेज विच हैव बिल्ट यूजिंग सम अदर लाइब्रेरी सो लेट्स सी हाउ इट वर्क विद मल्टीपल मल्टीपल रजिस्ट्रीज ऑल राइट इट ऑलरेडी हैज इट्स टू डू आई गेस ओके इट ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट येस आई वॉन्ट टू प्रोसीड ऑल राइट ही पैसा तो बहुत लगता है क्लॉड कोड पे बट इस इट्स वर्थ इट मौसम लेट्स सी वेर वी आर एंड वी हैव दिस बैकग्राउंड रिपल इफेक्ट कैन यू सी इफ आई क्लिक इट इज देयर आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ यूर एबल टू सी बट it is there it is there i think there is one thing that it is not able to do right now it is because surprisingly in background ripple effect ripple effect you also have to add this part into the theme inline part of it so that is what i want to do right now in the global dot css and to, okay inline theme inline is there i want to add this now if i go ahead and see okay now you see the ripple right ripple at the back one line addition and you get this component which is this now if you switch to dark mode you'll be able to see it better this ripple one line one registry or two registries and you are able to add this super nice isn't it crazy crazy so this is the exact thing that i wanted to talk about in this video as well this you've built from the ground up using nothing but just components from a pro registry and you were able to code this up this is what shard cn cli 3.0 means so this is the entire change log that you can go ahead and read it has got name spaced registries which you see this for example design is some registry engineering is this for example eternity is this again there are search and discovery so you can search list you know search by some keyword all sorts of things third part which i love is the mcp server which is this exactly right here built using just the mcp server which is pretty cool right so these were the changes into the chat scene 3.0 uh, change log that is there out there the newer things which are there pretty interesting in my case uh, super helpful took a time so we were a part of the earlier beta version beta testing which was going on so we tried and tested it and all of us from the design engineering community came together and tested it now it is live for everyone to use and consume and build on top of it so i request all of you if you if you have your component library or if you are looking for a way to distribute your ui components or code it doesn't have to be just components it can be any piece of code if you are looking to distribute it shard cn cli is the way to go about it that is not just a ui library now that is a distribution channel for your code through the command line so that it is easier for everyone to access and consume everyone is using it these days i think you should too awesome that wraps up the video thank you so much for watching this video if you liked whatever we have here please do like this video and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one tab tak ke liye bhai jai hind bahut kaam karo bahut padhai karo next video mein milte hain chaklo chaklo riwal var dabla bhi kab zahle